the wait is over, you can now apply drop shadow to images and objects and things in Kittle. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And if you've been looking for an easy way to do this, then Kittle is your go-to tool. So if you don't have it, go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description. And you can do everything that I'm about to show you. All right, well, let's start with an image. Let's go to photos and then let's find an image that we would want to apply some drop shadow to. Now, this one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this in the middle here, size it up and then over here on the right we have object shadow here we have three different presets you can start with here's the first one and as you can see here you can change things like offset and angle and as you can see I increase the offset and you can change the angle very similar to our text effects and the shadow over in the text panel now what you can also do is of course play with the blur here and you can change the color to make some really really cool effects I'm already thinking of things like web design for something like this with an actual photo or something like that now we have these other presets with ready made effects like this one right here which would be a hard Hard shadow or no blur but of course you can go and you can adjust all of these settings if you want to now let me take this off and now let's remove the background from this image since it has a very clear subject and now that I have it like this I can add drop shadow to this person and now I can change the color and this is great for things like YouTube thumbnails or ads or something where you need to add to some glow to the back of your person and so now this also applies to certain illustrations and objects we have in the Kittle library so a lot of our elements are vector but for example this one that says streetwear stencil is a high resolution image and I can add shadow to it now let me change this I'm gonna make it a very bright green since it's kind of y2k style and I'm gonna turn the blur way down or just go through these presets like this one which I think looks really cool change the angle and maybe make the offset just a little bit less and that's getting a really really cool kind of spray painted effect for this streetwear art so that's another way that you can use the drop shadow or object shadow method now we also have other illustrations and art in here like these for example our environments which are high resolution transparent images so now you can see I've added the object shadow but let me grab the eyedropper tool and grab this really light orange and you can start to create some really cool effects using the object shadow with our illustrations, objects, photos, or whatever else in Kittle. Now, one last really cool effect you can do is with text. So if I add this text preset here for a sales event or something like that, I already have a tutorial which I'll link on how to make the neon effect for text, but let me add this basic shape right here and we're going to make kind of a whole neon glow uh, effect for this whole group right here. So I'm going to make this box about the size of this subtext here below. Maybe we want it in text. Uh, maybe we want it in a box like that, or maybe you're making a button or something for an ad online. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner, make sure everything is lining up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and create a neon glow for this text. And what I'm going to do is take the offset off and make the blur around one or two and I'm gonna give this one some pink glow for this one so the blur already kinda creates this glow effect and now what I can do is turn the black to white which kind of gives it that neon pole sign effect or that vintage neon pole sign effect so yeah you can play with the blur and I'll show you what it looks like on a dark background here in a second but now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the rest of the text here for the word sale and 40% off here and now what's really cool is you can do the same thing with this box so I'm gonna turn the border weight of this box to white I'm going to change the color of the shadow on this simple box to that pink and then what I can do is increase or decrease the blur to be very similar as you can see just like that and it looks like it's a part of this whole sign now if I turn this to dark you can see it has a slight glow and maybe we want to go through and increase that blur on each one so that it's just a little bit easier to see and you can see how easy it is to do with the object shadow tool in Kittle now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video